Hello everyone, this is the third tutorial in the RTS series and now we're going to be looking at how to make a terrain uh, more specifically how to texture it. I'm assuming you can model and such but uh, for this one we're just going to really make a really simple plane and texture onto that using the stencil. So uh, we begin off just uh, making sure GLSL is enabled add a sun as well, add a light so you can see what you're doing and uh, change it to textured there, the shading. Uh, and then we're going to unwrap it, uh, create a new image there, call it ground, and save that there and just have it there in the UV image editor on the left. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to give you a basic overview of how this works. If you click enable image painting mode, you can actually paint onto the texture, hitting a T will bring up the toolbar on the left side there. Uh, and then you can just uh, click and paint onto the actual texture and you can see it update in real time in the 3D viewport. But what if you want to actually paint inside the 3D viewport? Well that's also possible. You have to go to Vertex uh, Texture Paint over there, select Texture Paint, and then you want to just uh, add a material and as a texture for the material you add a new texture image or movie and then just link it to that one over there the ground texture there uh, so now you, when you try to draw on it you should see it update but it might be mirrored so to fix that you go into UV image editor and flip the vertices 180 degrees so now when you paint it um, enable it again now when you paint it you should see you should see it update properly just where you paint it so that's the basics of it um, we can change color there we can go I'm just gonna move the light a little out of the way so you can see a little better uh, so w what you can do here is actually change um, change the color uh, over there is the color slider here. You can change color and then draw onto that and it'll update automatically. Uh, the picture on the left also gets updated. Uh, remember that's the actual picture you're drawing onto, that's the texture. The 3D viewport is just being uh, updated in real time. You can just uh, play around with the radius strength and jitter values. Um, so now we're actually going to go ahead and add real textures. Uh, go to textures and click that paintbrush button. Uh, that's the brush textures. And you're going to want to select image or movie from the drop down menu there. Open up any texture you want. Um, I'm going to pick a grass texture this time. Uh, just the base of it. Um, Grass.png there. This is my own image which I took and edited in GIMP to make a seamless texture. It's very easy to do. Uh, if you want a tutorial on that, just a message in the comment section below. Now you can select it from the texture tab on the left there. Uh, you can select the grass texture as we've named it and just start painting that onto the plane. Uh, of course uh, you want to have it white so it's not tinted. There's no tint on it and that's, that's uh, you uh, just click and paint onto the mesh. Uh, play around with the radius and strength values. Uh, uh, jitter of course there. <coughs> and uh, so yeah if you want to add a new texture above that you want to click that plus button there and uh, add a new one like so. Just uh, link to your image and then it'll be in your texture uh, panel on the left. Again, a new one, delete that down there, and then uh, here we're adding the wood. Uh, play around with jitter values as you see it like, uh, however you feel like. Uh, and if you want to change, just click that over there, th that tab over there, and all your textures you've added through that uh, paintbrush over there, through the plus symbol there, will appear, and you can name them in that little text field on the right. 
Uh, so now is the um, so suppose now you've done your um, terrain texturing there. Now you actually want to save this image. So you save as image um, wherever you want on your computer. I'm going to call it ground texture 2 and um, save that. Go ahead and save that and then you can actually delete this plane here if you want. We'll just take it all from the beginning. Delete that plane. Uh, add a new one. So this is the plane you have and then just uh, texture this one um, through the material uh, material window there and add the texture, the, the terrain texture you just saved as an image or movie. And just find it wherever you saved it. It's ground texture 2 and that's that's all there is to it. Uh, texturing on the 3D viewport and you can have various textures overlay on each other uh, make them look seamless and blend into each other of course you want to select a UV uh, you want to select the input type as a UV in the uh, texture panel on the right there so the mapping is UV and that's all there is to it remember if you want to add more textures onto it you have to go to the brush uh, texture tab there and then hit the plus symbol and then uh, press cross on the image texture you had before and load up a new one and then you just select from the panel on the left uh, which texture is active and that's all there is to it. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks, bye bye.